Panning in Logic is actually a little strange when it comes to stereo audio files. For instance, if you use the pan pots on each of the tracks uh, or channel strips and you pan a stereo file left or right, you're not actually panning the stereo file within the stereo field. You're just balancing the level. So for instance, if you give it more, uh, if you pan to the left, you're just saying, okay, I only want to hear the left channel. If you hard pan to the right, you're saying, hey, I only want to hear the right channel. What you want to use in order to actually pan a stereo file within this stereo field is the direction mixer, which is one of those handy little plugins that uh, comes with Logic and is built into the application. All right, so the direction mixer. We're actually going to discuss something here that a lot of people don't know about Logic and how it handles stereo tracks. And that is if you have a stereo audio file and you pan that um, left or right or whatnot, you're not actually panning the stereo file within the stereo field. You're actually just balancing the left and right levels. Um, for example, if you pan hard left, you're telling Logic, I just want to hear the left channel. If you're panning hard right, you're saying, I only want to hear the right channel. Anywhere in between, you'll still hear at plus uh, 40 um, right, you'll still hear parts of the left channel, but more of the right channel. And the way around this, you actually have to use a plugin that's internal to Logic called the Direction Mixer that actually pans the stereo audio file within the stereo field. So let me just give you an example of what we're talking about here. Right here, I just have a simple uh, software instrument and I wrote some pan automation data into the track. And basically, I'm just what I'm doing is just for every other for every note, it's it's panning each note individually left and right. And this is what it sounds like. I'm just doing this so we can we can illustrate this. But after I did that, I bounced that down to an audio file, which is here. And it's essentially you'll hear the same things. But let's see what happens if I pan this file. As you can hear, if I pan it hard left, I'm only hearing the left channel. If I pan it hard right, I'm only hearing the right channel. And again, anywhere in between, you're hearing partial you know, depending on which way you're going, you're, hear, you're still hearing both channels until you get hard left or hard right. So that, that could be an effect you're going for, but in the case that you actually want to pan the stereo file within the stereo field, you have to bring up the Direction Mixer plugin, which is under Imaging Direction Mixer. And if you open this up, in order to pan hard left or hard right, there's actually presets for it, but really all you're doing is either minus 90 or plus 90. And the Direction Mixer actually has other functions as well, but for this case, we're only going to touch on panning left and right in the case of a stereo file. So if you listen back now, it's panned hard right, and you're still hearing both channels. And it's panned hard left, and you're still hearing both channels, which is exactly what you want to happen. And again, if you're anywhere in between, unlike just using the regular pan pot, you're actually panning that stereo file within the stereo field. So now that you know what the direction mixer is, my job is done. So I'm going to go rollerblading to Sweden. I love, 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 I